Good day, fellow modelers. Welcome back to another Handy review by Mr. Handy. Uh, today we're going to take a peek at uh, KMA Modelers 172nd scale deco set for uh, the Iraqi Air Force. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see so far, they basically give you uh, decals to do every aircraft, uh, modern aircraft that was used by Iraq. So there's your, uh, the uh, kit number for this is, uh, or the part number is 7226, as you can see right there. And you get uh, Iraqi air aircraft uh, roundels and everything from 63 to 91. And uh, as you can see, you get multiple planes. Uh, you get your Hunter, you get uh, multiple MiG-21s, uh, multiple MiG-23s, multiple MiG-25s, MiG-29, a uh, Mirage F-1, uh, multiple Mirage F-1s, uh, the uh, Dussault uh, Superintendard, an SU-20 and 22, SU-24, SU-25, uh, MI-24 Hind. This is uh, looks like a uh, MD-500, I think. Uh, there's your TU-16 and TU-22. So, <clears throat> the uh, wonderful thing I like about uh, KM-8 decals is uh, you get your full, like there's your camouflage. Uh, one of the things that I've found with some decal companies, um, they only give you one side view. Um, I think I have a Linden Hill version of this. And they don't give you uh, the side views. Uh, you only get this view and, and, and you don't really get an idea on camouflage. Uh, the only uh, criticism I have of this set, and it's only in this set so far. I've done a couple, uh, or I have, I've done a reviews on a couple of them. Uh, it's only in this set so far, uh, is that they don't give you the color callouts uh, like they do in the other sets. So I have no idea what green this is. I have no idea what gray that is. Same thing with this green and tan. Have no idea. But uh, let's go through. There's your Hunter from 67. Uh, as you see, you get two Hunters. Uh, there's your MiG-21 MF from 19. Oh, it doesn't even say. Uh, this one only says... Uh, oh, it only gives you the serial number. So uh, here's your MiG-20. Here's another MiG-21 MF. Um... <clears throat> I must uh, say that I believe that this is probably the most accurate camouflages. I do believe that uh, uh, the guy that did this uh, talked with Tom Cooper. Uh, and Tom Cooper is a bit of an aficionado when it comes down to uh, uh, Middle East aircraft and camouflages. Um, if you are uh, a friend of his... If you're lucky enough to be a friend of his, he will uh, continuously post on his page um, about some of the uh, things that are wrong with uh, decal companies that are putting out their things or uh, uh, box art and stuff like that. So, uh, But as far as I understand, these, these camouflages are uh, accurate uh, for this. So... Uh, here we have uh, the FT-7, which is basically a Chinese copy of the MiG-21UB. <clears throat> uh, here is the uh, MiG-21F-13 uh, in silver. That is 1966. Uh, here we are with a MiG-23ML during the Iran-Iraq War. Another MiG-23ML. Uh, I love these MiG-23s. These are... Probably my favorite, one of my favorite Soviet aircraft. Uh, here we got the uh, the Beast MiG-25 RBT, uh, of course, which was uh, a bombing version of the uh, MiG-25 Interceptor. Uh, here you go with the uh, MiG-29. I thought there was another version of the MiG-25, though. Yeah, there it is there. So there's your MiG-25 PDS, which is the Interceptor version, and then you have a a version of the MiG-25 RBT. Uh, there's your MiG-29A. Um, 
Again, I, I, these are accurate. Um, I'm a little bit iffy about this camouflage, but I'm not sure. Um, I will uh, leave it up to Tom. <laughs> I'm sure Tom will uh, let us know if it's accurate or not. Uh, here we have the SU-20, and of course the SU-24, or SU-22M4, and of course the SU-22UM. Uh, interesting fact, uh, Iraq used these as uh, wild weasels uh, during the Iran-Iraq war. Uh, they carried, uh, uh, I think it was KH 54s, uh, the anti radar uh, missile, uh, and uh, they used the two seaters in combat and used these as wild weasels to take out uh, radar stations in, I believe it was uh, just inside of Iran. So uh, during the Iran Iraq War. Uh, 1990. Uh, Iraqi SU-24, there's your SU-25. As far as I understand though, the SU-25 was delivered in multiple schemes uh, to the Iraqi Air Force. Um, if uh, you are lucky enough to have Tom Cooper's Iraqi Fighters book, uh, which is now out of print, of course they, he has all the camouflages in that, but uh, I believe they were uh, delivered in multiple camos. Um, here you go with the uh, Mirage F1 EQ4, so that's your single seater, here's your two seater, um, then it, this is a actually a, 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 a some type of an olive drab, not a brown, but apparently it faded to brown. Uh, there's your uh, uh, Mirage F1 EQ, uh, these uh, as far as I recall were uh, painted this way for naval engagements so um uh, as far as i understand they carried uh exosets there's your uh, super your uh least uh french superintendard by the iraqi air force uh, that of course carried the uh the exoset missiles uh tu-22 k or, or sorry tu-16k there's your tu-22b and it's funny because uh, this is the actual camel. It was a green, uh, light green and dark green. But when you take a look at uh, some kits like the Italeri kit, it, uh, they've got it as a tan and a two-tone, or a tan and a brown. So uh, here's your Hughes 5 MD500 uh, with a different modified front uh, from 1994. And your uh, MI24 uh, which was captured uh, by Iranians in 1982. Um, uh, this is nice that they've added uh, the actual numerals at the back to uh, tell you what the actual uh, Arab numeral is corresponding to uh, the uh, Western world's uh, numerals, so which are... We won't even get into it. It's based on a of numbers, but whatever. Uh, and then we have our caution down here at the bottom, which is, although we have tried uh, to offer the most accurate camouflage patterns, but due to lack of sufficient information, some of the patterns may not fully match. So, <clears throat> like I was saying, I, I, I guess maybe I was wrong. Maybe he didn't talk with uh, Tom Cooper, but uh, Tom Cooper did was talking about uh, especially... Um, Iranian or a uh, MiG-21 camouflages and uh, he did verify that uh, I believe this camouflage and this camouflage were accurate for the time period. Let's take a look at the decals and see what we get. So we get two nice, actually we get more, we get three nice big sheets. Uh, here's your biggest sheet which is of course all Arab numerals. And this, of course, is all your Arab numbers from 1 to 9 and then 0. <clears throat> there is your Iraqi national uh, roundels, I guess is what you would call them. Here is your earlier versions. Here is your later versions. And our last one is... Uh, uh, I read, or is, uh, Iraqi flags, and then a couple other, um, decals. Here's your, uh, uh, excellence, 
uh, marks for uh, Iraqi aircraft, and then of course your danger signs for your Mi-24. So, a beautiful, beautiful set by Cami Modeler for uh, your Iraqi forces. Um, <clears throat> these, of course, can be bought from their site. That's where I bought mine. Uh, their site is uh, not on this. I will have it in the description. Uh, they are known. Oh, here it is. Uh, KMA-modeler.com um, I believe that these sets are sold by certain online uh, dealers. Um, I think that uh, I think it's Super Hobby or Super Modeler uh, out of uh, uh, Czechoslovakia um, carries these. Um, but like I said, uh, worst case scenario, you can order them straight from uh, Cam A. Um, the, uh, the guy who does Cam A is an absolutely fabulous person. Uh, got uh, some extra decals from him. I guess they had a, uh, a holiday uh, in Iran uh, a few, about a month or so ago. Uh, and he was late uh, sending my uh, decals and uh, the guy was gracious enough to uh, send uh, some uh, extra decals along which was uh, absolutely fabulous um, as I said they are uh, beautiful decals uh, everything that I've done so far or every, every review I've done so far with them uh, everything is in register everything is uh, nice and smooth beautiful beautiful decals uh, and they are uh, they're cheap. They are not super expensive. I believe I got this for uh, 12 bucks, I think. Um, not very much at all. Uh, and even the shipping was, uh, even the shipping was uh, very reasonable. So uh, if you're into uh, Iraqi, uh, Iraqi Air Force uh, aircraft or Iran-Iraq air, uh, war aircraft, or even Ira uh, Iranian aircraft, because they do a lot of decals for Iranian aircraft. Uh, take a peek at them. Uh, go to their site. Um, absolutely fabulous uh, decals. And uh, uh, great references with regards to the uh, uh, the camouflages and the colors. Uh, I did a review on their P3 decals, and it was nice to actually get in a, an actual... Uh, uh, reference of what the P3 in their uh, uh, naval camouflage uh, actually looks like and uh, the actual camouflage colors. So that was a very nice surprise uh, and it was very well uh, very well appreciated uh, because I'm going to be doing one of those. So anyways, that's the end of this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, uh, in other ones, if you have uh, anything that you're interested in uh, and checking out, let me know in the comments. <clears throat> Send me a message, uh, whatever. Uh, I'll see if I can get it on a review for you. Um, like and subscribe if you wish. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for this. Uh, happy modeling, and uh, we will see you in the next review. Take care.